everyone, this is Katie Colleen here. Welcome back, Colleen clan, or if you are new, then come join the family. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make cosplay angel wings that are super durable. <laughs> These wings will hold up. They're very, very durable, made with EVA foam and wire, and literally hundreds of ethically sourced feathers. So I'm going to be using this steel wire and this is going to be kind of like the frame for our wings. So I am doubling up this wire and twisting it together so that there are two layers of wire and then I'm really going to focus on making the general wing shape and then I'm going to further stabilize this by adding this wire like cross sections to kind of like connect the shape. And as I add these wires, I'm just kind of refining the shape. I'm deciding how big I want this to be. And then I'm gonna use quite a bit of wire connecting the two wings together. So now with the wire base complete, we are going to stiffen this up with some EVA foam. So I'm taking some EVA foam and I'm just laying our wire structure over it and getting a general shape of the wings. And I am going to put EVA foam on both sides of this wire. So I'm gonna to need to cut out four like wing shapes from the EVA foam. Now I'm also going to treat these with a heat gun to kind of like flatten this out and make this next step easier. So now I'm going to attach my wire frame to the EVA foam. So I'm going to be using hot glue just to kind of like get this tacked down to the EVA foam. And from here, I'm going to use contact cement. Use contact cement outside because the fumes are hazardous to inhale. So at the time I was doing this, there were actually freezing fog weather conditions and I'm outside in the freezing fog making angel wings with contact cement so that is my dedication to this project so i'm just going to cake on a whole bunch of contact cement and then i can put the second layer of the eva foam on the other side and i'm gonna have to press this down pretty hard to kind of get around that wire shape so now i'm gonna let this dry overnight i just left it in the garage and then i can bring it in and this is how our wings look now, I decided I wanted a little bit of curvature to my wings, so I'm gonna pull out my heat gun again, and I'm going to just treat the EVA foam surfaces and bend it with my hands. So it will bend as I move it, and it will hold its shape really well. Now for the harness. So I'm using these brackets. There's quite a few different brackets out there, H brackets, T brackets. So this is just the little T brackets. And then I got the wing nuts and the bolts as well to go through that bracket. So I'm going to line up my T brackets and that's gonna be what's holding the wings together. So I'm going to mark out where the holes are in this T bracket. I'm gonna take my Dremel and put on a drill bit. And I'm gonna drill through both layers of the foam. Since there are two foam layers with the wire inside, this actually held really, really well. Then I can just simply put the bolts through the holes that I drilled and thread on the wing nuts as well. And that's gonna hold that bracket in place. And this is the entire like wing base, wing structure. And next, next we're going to add the feathers. So I got all of these feathers off of Amazon. They are cruelty free. So what that means is that birds will just naturally molt feathers or like shed kind of like other animals like dogs or cats. And then they will pick up those feathers that have been shed by the birds and then they will, you know, bleach them to get that nice white color. And then that is what is being sold. So no bird babies were harmed. I love my bird babies. They get feathers all over our kitchen. That's why some of these feathers are a little bit damaged since, you know, the birds plucked them out with their beaks, but they're all cruelty free and I love the bird babies. So that's super, super important to me. So now we get to the tedious task of putting feathers on the wings. So my process, it was to take these feathers and I'm gonna have to cut off the little tips and then I'm gonna have to kind of pick through which ones are actually good quality. Like I said, there's a lot that are like torn or discolored. And then I took a hot glue gun and I hot glued layer by layer. And I had to do this on both sides of the wing. So now let's get into how we're actually going to attach the wings so they're wearable. When I attach the feathers, I left plenty of space around where the bracket attaches to the EVA foam. And that is where I'm gonna thread through our harness. 
Now I decided to use an inch wide elastic as my harness. This was my own choice to make it seem more like realistic when I moved. Since this elastic has a lot of stretch to it, it will move with your body. So now I'm gonna have to fit those elastic straps to me. My inspiration, though very simple, was basically like those kids' fairy wings, you know, that just go around your arms. Very simple concept, but I figured it would still work here. And then I had to uh, kind of like, I had to sew it together and it was kind of difficult to get this under my sewing machine with the giant wings in the way. Now you'll notice that when I'm putting these wings on, they do tend to skew diagonally. So I wanted to fix that as well. So I added this additional strap of elastic kind of stabilizing those two arm holders so it wouldn't skew sideways as much. Now, I obviously did not want the little straps over the dress. That would definitely ruin the look that I was going for. So let me walk you through how I did the closure in the back of the dress. So I had a zipper closure for the bottom half of the dress. And then where the wings are, I have buttons. And I cut out like a, a nice hole for the wings to fit through. So I have a button below the wings and like five buttons above the wings. And here you can see my husband helping me get get into this cosplay. I can not get into this cosplay on my own. Now the cosplay I'm making these wings for is the character Lucille from the movie Monster in Paris. It's a very obscure movie, but I love it and I really wanted to still bring this character to life. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.